Do y'all believe in haunted houses? I had a client who bought a very old historic home at auction. It had been owned and built by a family, the Farnsworth family, and Miss Farnsworth had been born in this house and she died in the house. And she was over a hundred and some years old when she did pass away. They bought the house at an auction and they had discovered then that Miss Farnsworth hadn't been up to the second level of the house in over 20 years. There was all this water damage where the roof had leaked, they needed to replace the roof and all kinds of other things they had to do. So they call in this work crew that is spending months to rehab and bring this house back to its former glory. So anyway, the rule was last one out of the house locks the door, turns out the lights. So my client comes in for her nail appointment and she's telling me her GC, the general contractor in charge of all this, it was he was out. He was, it was past dark, he got held there later. So as he was leaving, he turns out the lights. He gets out the door, locks the front door, goes to his car, gets in his car, and looks up, the kitchen light's on. He's like, I could have sworn I turned that off. He goes back inside, goes into the kitchen, turns the light off, it's off. He turns, he leaves, he goes out, he locks the door, gets in his car, he looks up, the damn light for the kitchen's back on. He freaked out, called his wife, made the wife come up there with him and go in the house with him so he could turn off the light again. But after that, he wouldn't go into that house alone after dark. And so anyway, that's part one of the Miss Farnsworth story. Part two coming up next.